sa video natin ngayon, we'll cover some codes dito sa longitudinal fillet welds. Now first, dito tayo sa tensile capacity of the base metal connection, which is the connection between this part and this part. We still are not considering the weld. Instead, we are just considering this as a tension member in which the cross section is if this is the width and then this is the thickness, then this is the cross section that we'll consider. And so for the tensile capacity of the base metal connection, we have the tension yielding on gross area in which we have for ASD, this is the allowable strength. And so that will be 0.6 multiplied by Pn. And then for LRFD, we will use phi as the reduction factor which is 0.9. Now as you can recall, for ASD, we have the safety factor which we'll divide dito sa load natin. And so this is 1.66. And so 1 over 1.66, this will give us uh, approximately 0 0.6. And so that's why this is our factor. Dito lang yan galing. And so this is phi. And so that's why we have the allowable strength and we also have the ultimate strength. Now diba, force is just equal to stress multiplied by the area. Now for the gross area, yung kaparis niyan talaga is yung yielding stress. And so that's why this is Fy multiplied by the gross area. So stress multiplied by the area. And then yung gross area natin is simply the thickness multiplied by the width. This cross section. Yan. Now for the tension rupture on the net section of the base metal, we have the following formulas. Now since we are talking about rupture, yung gagamitin natin is yung specified ultimate stress of the base metal which is Fu. If we are talking about rupture, yung kapares nyan is yung Fu. While if we are talking about yielding, yung kapares nyan na area is yung gross area. Yung rupture kasi sa steel design, it occurs when the stress on the effective area of the section is large enough to cause the member to fracture. And so, uh, diba, we are talking about the effective area. And so that's why we also need to use the effective area dito. Now, the effective area is just simply our shear lag factor multiplied by the net area. However, since dito sa welds, yung net area is just equal to EG, since wala namang butas dito sa welds, we can just take this as... AG. And so if this becomes U times AG, we now have the following. For ASD, we will use 0.5 as our reduction factor since we are talking about rupture. And then for LRFD, our reduction factor will be 0.75. Uh, by the way, this corresponds to a factor of safety of 2 while this is our fee. Now our formula for PN will be FU which is the specified ultimate stress multiplied by the effective area. That still comes from stress times area is equal to force. And then by the way, yung U natin dito, this is our shear lag factor. And then for the tensile capacity of the base metal, we need to use the smallest value. This is something you have to remember. Now for the shear strength of the base metal, we have the following formulas. Based on the gross area of the shear surface, we have 0.6 Fy. Again, we are using Fy again because we are talking about the gross area multiplied by AG. Now, if we look at the plate, saka yung base metal, we actually have two thicknesses. However, we'll choose the smaller one. And so pick the smaller thickness of T1 and T2. And then after which, that's what you will substitute dito sa gross area. That's simply thickness, this dimension, or this one, yung dalawa, multiplied by the length. Now, we are considering this area, or this one, kasi diba, when we are talking about shear, we need the area parallel to the force. And so that's why, as you can notice, this area is parallel to our force P. Now, based on the shear rupture strength, gagamitin na natin yung Fu. And so, magiging 0.6 Fu ANV, where ANV is the net area for shear. So, yung V dito represents shear, and then yung N represents net. And so, here we have the net shear area will be thickness times the total length of the weld. Now sir, ano yung total length of the weld? It's simply, uh, since meron tayong dalawang welds dito, meron dito, saka dito, yung total length ng weld will be 2 multiplied by L. This one plus this one. And then for ASD, we have 0.5 PN. And then for PU naman, for LRFD, we have 0.75 multiplied by PN. And then next, for the weld shear strength, we have PN equal to FNW, which is the tension strength of the weld, which is represented by 0.6 multiplied by FU, and then we have the effective area of the weld. Now W here stands for weld, and then E stands for effective. That's why this is the effective area of the weld. And so the effective area of the weld will just be 0.707 multiplied by T times 
LT. Now, itong 0.707, this just comes from cos 45. Uh, let's just change this into degrees. So, cos 45, that will be 0 0.707. We are considering kasi a diagonal part. Now, this is already discussed in your steel design. And then, LT will just be the total length of the longitudinal welds. And so, for LRFD, we have VPN equal to the reduction factor multiplied by the stress times the area. And then, for the allowable stress design, our factor now becomes 0 0.5 because our factor of safety is 2. So 1 half will become 0.5 FNW multiplied by AWE. And so since tapos na tayo sa code, we will now apply it here. Now for the first question, which of the following now most nearly gives the allowable strength of the connection based on the strength of the connecting plates? Now here, since we are interested in the connection based on the strength of the connecting plates, we will use the codes right here, the tensile capacity of the base metal connection. And so we actually have two values of Pn. We have Fyeg and we also have Fuee. However, since we are talking about the allowable strength, we will be using ASD because this is for the allowable strength design. And so we will try to check kung ano yung smallest value. And so here we have Pn equal to Fyeg. So this is what we'll consider is the Fy for the plates. Saka yung Fu for the plates. So this one. And so this is now 345 multiplied by the gross area which is this cross section so that will be the thickness multiplied by the width. Now our width right here is 200 mm and then we have a thickness of 12 mm and so this is now 12 multiplied by 200. So this is now 345 times 12 multiplied by 200. And so this will be 828000. And then for FUAE, we have 450 multiplied by 12 times 200. However, don't automatically say na we use this one. Kasi diba, this is lesser than 450. However, you have to take note that we are talking about the effective area. And so to get the effective area, we need to multiply this area by the shear lag factor. Now for the shear lag factor, we need to consider a value of 0 0.75 because if we will try to check, let's compare this. We have 1.5 W equal to 1.5 times 200. This is 300 and then our weld length is only 200 and then our W is lesser than or equal to 200. Uh, again, this is 1.5 W is lesser than the weld length 200 and then this is lesser than or equal to 200. So since we meet this condition, our U will be 0.75 and so we need to multiply this by 0.75 and so solving both we have for FYAG this is 345 times 12 times 200 which is 8 to 8000 and then this is newtons and then for FUEE we have 450 times 12 times 200 multiplied by 0.75 and so this is now 810,000 and so since we want to pick the lower value we need this one and then since we are talking about the allowable strength we need to use this reduction factor and so PA will be 0.5 multiplied by PN which is 810,000 and then we will just divide this by 1000 to convert it into kilonewtons because we want it in KN so we now have 0.5 times 810,000 divided by 100 I mean 1000 and so this is now 405 that's why we have this answer now for the next question we have which of the following most nearly gives the design strength of the connection based on the strength of the welding connection and so we will now try to look at this formula the formulas for weld shear strength now here we are talking about the design strength and so this is actually LRFD while this is ASD and so for LRFD, we need to use this one. And so for number 37, this was 200 mm. And so we now have the factored load, let's say PU, or let's just use this one. We have VPN equal to 0.75 times FNW, which is, as mentioned here, this is 0.6 of FU. And so this is now 0.6 multiplied by FU, which is for the welding electrode, this is 485. So times 485, this is our shear strength. And then for the effective area of the weld, this will now be 0 0.707, this one. So times the thickness, which is 6 mm multiplied by the total length of the weld. Now for the total length of the weld, since we actually have two sides, this one and this one, then we have 200 plus 200. And so the total will be 400. And so multiplying these, we have 0 0.75 times 0 0.6 times 485 multiplied by 0 0.707 times 6 times 400. And so this is now 370 kN if we'll convert it into kilonewtons. 
And so this is 370, 326.6, which is 370KN approximately. And so this is our answer. Now for the last one, if the tensile capacity of the connection is 420KN, which of the following gives the actual shearing stress of the weld? Now here, we'll just be replacing this one, this expression. Now here, since we are to use LRFD, then we still need to use this. And so this is now, our tensile capacity is 420kN, so that will be VPN. So this is 420 times 1000. This is equal to 0.75 times the actual shearing stress, which is, let's say, FVN, multiplied by 0 0.707 times 6 times 400. And so solving FVN, we have 420,000 is equal to 0.75 times X times 0 0.707 times 6 multiplied by 400. And so solving the shear stress, we have 330. And so FVN is equal to 330 MPA. And so that's why we have this. Thank you.